hi guys welcome back to my channel on this video I'll be making some buffalo chicken wings I'm just gonna show you how I season them I've got my mixed seasoning here I will list all the measurements in the description box I've got my green seasoning and this is nine chicken wings I've cut them into flats and drumettes before I start I'm going to set aside one teaspoon of this mix I'm just going to sprinkle on the remaining seasoning I'm going to put about one teaspoon of green seasoning just going to mix this together I'm going to set these back in the fridge until I'm ready to fry them going to cover with some plastic wrap and I set this in the fridge I will see you back later on to go along with my buffalo wings I'll be making some oven baked wedges so I've got two white potatoes I've already washed them I've scrubbed them with a potato brush so I will cut those into wedges in a bit I will put all the measurements in the description box I've got one teaspoon salt one teaspoon paprika half a teaspoon of parsley and one teaspoon of chopped onion it's the dehydrated onions I've got two garlic cloves minced one tablespoon of parmesan cheese and I'll use two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil So we're going to cut our potatoes into wedges so you first you cut them in half then you cut them in half and then down the middle just going to pour some hot water on them and let them sit for five minutes garlic to this add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil I let my wedges soak in hot water for five minutes I'm just drying them off so this is our mixture of garlic extra virgin olive oil, onion and paprika and sea salt. I'm also going to sprinkle on some buttery steakhouse and also going to add in our parmesan cheese. I'm just going to mix this make sure it's coated well have a baking sheet lined with some parchment paper or grease proof just going to put the wedges on I've preheated my oven to a gas mark 6 which is about 390 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius we're gonna put these in to bake now for 20 minutes so I will see you back in 20 minutes and we'll give them a turn and put them back in the oven so stay tuned our wedges have been baking for 20 minutes I'm gonna give them a turn and put them back in the oven for another 20 minutes I'll see how they're cooking and if they require more time you don't want these to be undercooked so we don't want to take them out of the oven too quick back in the oven before we start frying the wings I'm going to do a quick blue cheese a dip so I've got one third cup or 79 mils of sour cream then I've got quarter cup or 59 milliliters of full fat mayo I squeezed half of a lemon that's one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice I'm going to put half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce Just mix that together. I 
and this is the blue cheese I'm using it's the Castello brand so I'm gonna use half of a cup just gonna measure that out Salt and pepper to taste, so it's entirely your preference of the amount of salt you want to use and the amount of black pepper. So a blue cheese dip done. So I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap, put it in the fridge to chill, and then we'll get started on our buffalo wings. We're just going to get ready to fry our wings. So I've got my leftover mixed seasoning from the chicken I seasoned. I've got one Ziploc bag, and this is corn flour or cornstarch. I'll be using one cup. gonna put in our seasoning our chicken wings just gonna put them in the bag and coat them in the corn flour or corn starch going to put these to sit we let these sit until the oil is heated let's test our oil so sprinkle yep it's hot so let's put half of our wings in first batch I'm going to fry them with the cover on first for five minutes and then come back and we'll crisp them up for another three to five minutes. It's been five minutes. Just gonna turn them and cook them for another three to five minutes and then put them on a cooling rack to cool. We've got to about one more minute of frying, so I'm just turning them over to crisp on the first side. And then we we'll put them on the cooling rack. We're just going to take these out. Chicken is done nice and golden. We've got one final thing to make. We need to do the buffalo sauce. Got 60 grams or four tablespoons. I'm using some unsalted butter. Using Frank's Red Hot. I've got half of a cup. I'm going to add one teaspoon of brown sugar. Okay, so uh, butter is just about melted. And that's our sauce done. Just turning the fire off and then we can coat our chicken and plate up. Gonna get ready to coat our chicken wings. They're nice and golden and crispy. I'm only going to coat half of them. Just 
just want to make sure we coat these in base sauce. These are my baked garlic parmesan wedges. I did sprinkle some parmesan on top. Got our homemade blue cheese dip. So our meal has been plated. Let's go through what I've got here. I've got my celery sticks fresh blue cheese dip, parmesan garlic baked potato wedges, and I've got my buffalo wings. So let's do a close up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comment section if you try any of these recipes, whether it's the baked wedges, the buffalo wings, or the blue cheese dip. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up to show that you like my videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!